Big Cat Rescue Intern Program Orientation. Congratulations! You have decided to become an intern at Big Cat Rescue. Bye. This will be the most rewarding experience you will ever have, and we look forward to having you join our team. Big Cat Rescue is a unique sanctuary dedicated to the care of abused, orphaned, abandoned, unwanted, and elderly wild and exotic animals. The operation of this facility is very costly and relies heavily on an active volunteer organization to help offset some of those costs, as well as allowing us to provide a better life for the animals. History 1992 The founders of Big Cat Rescue were at an exotic animal auction buying llamas when a man walked in with a terrified six-month-old bobcat on a leash. He said she had been his wife's pet and that she didn't want her anymore. They brought her home and called her Winsong. Soon after, they decided to buy and hand raise a bobcat kitten of their own. 1993. They drove to Minnesota to pick out a few kittens, and when they got there, it turned out to be a fur farm. The cats were in cages that were several inches deep with layers of fur and feces. There were 56 kittens, and they asked if there was that big of a market for them as pets. They were told that whatever didn't sell for pets would be slaughtered the following year for fur. They brought home all 56 that day, and their lives were changed forever. The more they learned about the plight of exotic animals, the more they were awakened to the huge injustice they were suffering as a result of inadequate laws to protect them. They quickly outgrew their four-acre home and in December 1993 moved to the present 42-acre Easy Street location. 1995 Big Cat Rescue became a non-profit organization and the work of caring for nearly 100 animals was more than we could do alone. That was when the volunteer program was started. Present Day the intern and volunteer programs are hugely responsible for the day-to-day -day operations of the sanctuary. The sanctuary relies heavily on interns and volunteers for cleaning, feeding, animal care, administrative tasks, as well as soliciting donations. The sanctuary is run completely on donations that are brought in through tours, memberships, sponsorships, and gift shop sales. Big Cat Rescue's mission statement. The narrow mission of Big Cat Rescue is to provide the best permanent home we can for the limited number of abused, abandoned, and retired big cats that the sanctuary can afford to take in. However, the sanctuary must turn away up to 300 cats per year. The broader mission, therefore, is to reduce the number of cats that suffer the fate of abandonment and abuse by educating as many people as possible about the conditions that lead to the plight of these animals. We do this through our tours of the sanctuary, our school education programs, our 2,100-page website that receives viewers from all over the world by supporting species preservation efforts and by providing a hands-on experience for interns from around the world, we hope, by setting an example and teaching about how animals should be treated, that this will carry over into how we humans treat each other as well, and in doing so, make the world a better place for all living creatures. Intern Program the Big Cat Rescue Intern Program consists of two distinct departments with diverse skill levels and responsibilities. These levels are designed to enhance intern strengths and meet the varied needs of the sanctuary. Unless otherwise specified, interns will work in both departments. Interns begin in administrative training to learn tour guiding and guest relations, to better familiarize themselves with the mission of the sanctuary and the daily operations, and then advance into the keeper training to learn animal husbandry. Much of the initial training consists of the basic knowledge needed to be a valued intern. As a trainee advances through the program, the trainee will learn specific skills pertaining to a particular department. The levels of advancement within each department are as follows. Animal husbandry, keeper trainee, 
keeper, senior keeper. Partnerships, partner trainee, partner, senior partner. Interns work 50 plus hours per week at Big Cat Rescue. The day typically begins between 7.30 and 8 a.m. and ends between 6.30 and 7 p.m. Interns receive a minimum of one full day off per week. Interns are required to work on holidays. However, this is a guideline only and interns may be required to work more or less hours as needed by the sanctuary. Lunch break times may vary according to the day's activities. Animal Husbandry Due to the physical demands of the keeper positions, the following criteria must be met to maintain Big Cat Rescue's safety standards. Must be at least 18 years old and possess a valid driver's license or photo ID. Must be capable of walking and standing for extended periods of time. Must be capable of lifting and carrying at least 50 pounds. Must possess vision and hearing at adequate levels must possess adequate literacy and verbal comprehension of English, must give complete disclosure of any prescription drugs and physical limitations. Keeper Trainee An intern may become a keeper trainee only after performing partner trainee duties for an initial period of time to be determined by the operations manager. Keeper trainees are considered a probationary level. An intern serving at this level will work under the direct supervision of a ranking intern or volunteer. Keeper trainee duties may include feeding and care of bear cats, palm civets and rats, sorting produce, cleaning small cat enclosures, Jeffrey cats to Siberian lynx, assisting animal feeders, guest sign-in, serving as a tour backup, guiding day tours and kids tours, gift shop assistant, data entry, housekeeping, landscaping, domestic cat care, daily chores, perimeter checks, and miscellaneous projects. Keeper trainee classes and certifications. Timeline only a guideline. It may change. Day one, orientation. Week one, tour backup, gate operation, and guest sign-in. Week 1, Human First Aid. Week 1, Kid Interaction Policy. Week 2, Animal Observation. Week 2, Animal Emergency. Week 3, Tour Guide 1 Class and Certification. Week 3, Cleaning Small Cats and Certification. Week 4, Events. After the completion of week four and the successful completion of all of the keeper trainee classes and certifications, the keeper trainee will advance to keeper level. Keeper. Keeper duties may include trainee duties, feeding cats, leading projects, and training and mentoring trainees. Keeper privileges include enrichment and operant training. Keeper classes and certifications. Timeline only a guideline may change. Week 5, Tour Guide 2 class. Week 5, Small Cat Feeding class and certification. Week 5, Basic Enrichment class and certification. Week 5, Operant Training class and certification. Level 2 classes and certifications. Cougar Cleaning and certification. Cougar Enrichment class and certification. Feeding Tour Guide Class Certification Level 3 Classes and Certifications Lion and Tiger Cleaning and Certification Level 4 Classes and Certifications Quarantine Cleaning Class and Certification Big Cat Feeding Class and Certification Tigers and Cougars that are locked out only No Leopards or Lions Medication Administration Class and Certification Level 4 interns will receive training in preparing the meds and food, after which they could assist the volunteer assigned to hand out meds with this process. They would also be permitted to shadow while meds are handed out. However, they must remain behind the barricade or out of view of aggressive or fickle cats. Upon completion of internship, 
At the end of each level internship, the intern may either apply for the next level internship or to be accepted into the volunteer program. Applications may be submitted to the volunteer committee. No more than six months may pass in between internships. For leaves of three months or more, you may be required to retake some classes and certifications. If an intern is interested in advancing to the next level internship, the intern must apply prior to taking any time off in between internships. Level 2 through 4 Keeper Internships Advanced level internships are reserved for returning interns who showed exceptional skill and ability in the previous level. A small stipend is available to help defray the cost of living for interns who are granted the Level 2 internship. Acceptance into this program is contingent upon the unanimous agreement of our selection committee. Upon acceptance into the advanced level internships, there may be a two-week probationary period during which time a stipend is not offered. Following the probationary period, performance will be assessed by the Big Cat Rescue Operations Manager. Volunteer Program the Big Cat Rescue Volunteer Program consists of two distinct departments with diverse skill levels and responsibilities designed by Shirt Color. These levels are designed to enhance volunteer strengths and meet the varied needs of the sanctuary. All volunteers begin as a partner trainee. Much of the initial training consists of the basic knowledge needed to be a valued volunteer. As a trainee advances through the program, they will learn specific skills pertaining to a particular department. If a trainee wishes to volunteer as a keeper, they may progress to the animal husbandry department as approved by the volunteer committee after a probationary period. The levels of advancement within each department are as follows. Animal husbandry, keeper trainee, red shirt, keeper, yellow shirt, senior keeper, green shirt, and Master Keeper Navy Shirt. Administrative Partner Trainee Red Shirt Partner Yellow Shirt Senior Partner Green Shirt Partners Due to the physical demands of the partner positions, the following criteria must be met to maintain Big Cat Rescue safety standards. 18 years old and possess a valid driver's license physical and mental capability to safely perform partner tasks, possess vision and hearing at adequate levels, possess adequate literacy and verbal comprehension of English, give complete disclosure of any prescription drugs. Any partner unable to meet these physical demands may be assigned specific duties to accommodate special needs. Partner Trainee Partner trainees are considered a probationary level. Partner trainee duties may include backing up tours, assisting with sign-in, gate operations and parking, cleaning guest and volunteer areas, processing orders, stocking the gift shop, data entry, and other assigned duties within the office, education center, file room, or gift shop. After three months of volunteering, Partner trainee duties may also include guiding day tours and kids tours. Partner trainee training classes. Partner trainees must maintain 16 hours of volunteer time per month, 4 hours a week, and must complete training classes for the partner trainee level within the first 3 months of beginning the program. Tour backup, gate operation and guest relations, human first aid, animal observation, animal emergency, events, tour guide, and kids tour guide and certification. After six consecutive months of maintaining minimum hours at partner trainee level and successful completion of all partner trainee classes, a partner trainee can apply for promotion in writing to the volunteer committee to the partner level. Applications for promotions can be found on the applications page located under the Training and Docs section of the BigCatRescue.me site. Partner Partner duties may include partner trainee duties, guiding day tours, kids tours, feeding tours, 
photo tours and private tours, assisting with off-site events, using office equipment, shipping and receiving, answering phones, filing and record keeping, training and mentoring. Partner classes and certifications. Partners must maintain 24 hours of volunteer time per month, six hours per week, and are eligible to take the following training classes. Animal emergency class refresher, which must be taken at least once a year, enrichment, operant training, photo tour guide, and feeding tour guide. After 12 consecutive months of maintaining minimum hours at partner level and successful completion of all partner classes and certifications, a partner can apply for promotion in writing to the volunteer committee to the senior partner level. Applications for promotion can be found on the applications page located under the Training and Docs section of the BigCatRescue.me site. Senior Partner Senior partner duties may include trainee and partner duties, volunteer orientation, outreaches, confidential filing, gift shop transactions, donation solicitation, donation pickup, teaching classes, training and mentoring trainees and partners, coordinating and special assigned duties by the volunteer committee. Senior partner classes and certifications. Senior partners must maintain 32 hours of volunteer time per month, eight hours a week, and are eligible to take the following training classes. Volunteer orientation, gift shop transaction, and animal emergency refresher, which must be taken at least once a year. Keepers. Due to the physical demands and safety protocols of the keeper positions, the following criteria must be met to maintain Big Cat Rescue's safety standards. 18 years old and possess a valid driver's license, physical and mental capability to safely perform keeper tasks, capable of walking and standing for extended periods of time, capable of lifting and carrying at least 50 pounds, possess vision and hearing at adequate levels, possess adequate literacy and verbal comprehension of English, give complete disclosure of any prescription drugs. Pregnant volunteers will be assigned duties within the partner department and must refrain from having contact with the animal areas and raw meat, as well as from heavy lifting or strenuous activities. Keeper Trainee a volunteer may become a keeper trainee only after performing partner trainee duties for an initial period of time to be determined by the volunteer committee. Keeper trainees are considered a probationary level. A volunteer serving at this level will work under the direct supervision of a ranking volunteer. Duty hours for the keeper trainees are primarily early morning hours, typically 8.30 a.m. to noon daily. However, projects are available in the afternoon hours and scheduled on the events calendar. Keeper trainee duties may include feeding non-cat species, sorting produce, cleaning enclosures, Jeffrey cats to Siberian lynx, serving as a tour backup, housekeeping, grounds maintenance, landscaping, and domestic cat care. After three months of volunteering, Keeper trainee duties may also include guiding day tours and kids tours. Keeper trainee classes and certifications. Keeper trainees must maintain 16 hours of on-site volunteer time per month, four hours a week, and must complete training classes for the keeper trainee level within the first three months of beginning the program. Small cat cleaning and certification, animal observation, animal emergency, human first aid, tour backup, gate operation and guest relations, events, tour guide, and kids tour guide and certification. After six consecutive months of maintaining a minimum of 16 hours per month volunteering as a keeper trainee, or after three months and volunteering a minimum of 100 hours as a keeper trainee, these time periods do not include the initial period of time assigned as a partner trainee. 
and successful completion of all Keeper Trainee classes and certification, a Keeper Trainee can apply for promotion in writing to the Volunteer Committee to the Keeper level. Applications for promotion can be found on the Applications page located under the Training and Docs section of the BigCatRescue.me site. Keeper Keeper duties may include trainee duties, cleaning cats, Jeffrey cats to cougars, feeding small cats, guiding day tours, kids tours, feeding tours, photo tours, private tours, leading projects, and training and mentoring trainees. Keeper classes and certifications. Keepers must maintain 24 hours of on-site volunteer time per month, six hours per week, and are eligible to take the following training classes. Cougar cleaning and certification, small cat feeding and certification, animal emergency refresher, which must be taken at least once a year, basic enrichment and certification, advanced enrichment, operant training and certification, photo tour guide, and feeding tour guide. After 12 consecutive months of maintaining minimum hours at keeper level and successful completion of all keeper classes and certifications, a keeper can apply in writing to the volunteer committee for promotion to the senior keeper level. Applications for promotion can be found on the applications page located under the Training and Docs section of the BigCatRescue.me site. Senior Keeper A senior keeper is eligible to assist staff or master keepers. A senior keeper must be able to perform at least partner yellow shirt level duties. Senior keeper duties may include trainee and keeper duties, cleaning, leopards, tigers, and lions, cleaning quarantine, administering meds, feeding big cats, guiding keeper tours and night tours, coordinating cleaning, feeding, and tours, assigned tasks by staff, and training and mentoring trainees and keepers. A senior keeper may be entrusted with the keys to buildings and or the medicine cabinet. Senior keeper classes and certifications. Senior keepers must maintain 32 hours of on-site volunteer time per month eight hours a week, and are eligible to take the following training classes. Big Cat Cleaning and Certification, Big Cat Feeding and Certification, Animal Emergency Refresher, which must be taken at least once a year, Keeper Tour Guide, Night Tour Guide, Med Administration, Quarantine Cleaning. Master Keeper. After four years of maintaining minimum hours at senior keeper level, and successful completion of all senior keeper classes and certifications, a senior keeper can apply in writing to the volunteer committee for promotion to the master keeper level. Applications for promotion can be found on the applications page located under the training and docs section of the bigcatrescue.me site. Prior to applying for promotion, the senior keeper must be able to perform all senior keeper as well as senior partner green shirt level duties. Master keeper duties may include trainee, keeper, and senior keeper duties, transporting animals to and from the vet, dispensing medications, feeding special needs animals, assist in animal emergencies, transfer of animals on the property, coordinating cleaning, feeding, and tours, assigned tasks by staff, and training trainees, keepers, and senior keepers. A master keeper may be entrusted with keys to buildings or gates and or the medicine cabinet. Master keepers must maintain 40 hours of on-site volunteer time per month, 10 hours a week. Program Committees Big Cat Rescue has committees that oversee specialty programs offered by the sanctuary. Each of the committees can be contacted with ideas or suggestions by putting a note in the committee's designated folder, which is located in the main office. Enrichment Committee designs and implements enrichment items, maintains records for tracking their success, and studies individual species to enhance the quality of life for the animals currently residing at the sanctuary. Operant Conditioning Committee. 
The Operant Conditioning Committee is responsible for encouraging volunteers to participate in the program, teaching the Operant Conditioning class, offering observation sessions, assigning Operant CATs to volunteers, evaluating and documenting the success of the Operant Training Program, creating and updating documentation of the program. Fundraising Committee designs and implements special donation programs on and off-site fundraising events and tracks as well as solicits donors. Volunteer Committee The Volunteer Committee is comprised of representatives for different levels and branches of the volunteer program and oversees the daily operations of the volunteer program and its members. The primary goal of the Volunteer Committee is to develop and maintain a successful volunteer force to carry out the mission of Big Cat Rescue. Volunteer Committee duties may include interviewing new volunteers and interns, scheduling new volunteers for their first day, maintaining files on each current volunteer, teaching classes and training volunteers and interns, weekly intern room inspections, writing standard operation procedures and volunteer program and class revisions, attending monthly committee meetings to discuss issues concerning the volunteers, disciplinary actions, promotions and rewards within the volunteer program, frequently checking and responding to emails to committee at bigcatrescue.org, hosting quarterly volunteer appreciation parties, keeping in touch with volunteers, recognizing birthdays, following up with a leave of absences taken, and fostering relationships between volunteers, attending off-site classes or seminars to further improve operations, and other responsibilities as assigned by the CEO. Interns are encouraged to offer suggestions, ideas, questions, and even grievances to the volunteer committee. These must be submitted in writing and may either be placed in the volunteer committee folder or emailed to committee at bigcatrescue.org. There is also an anonymous suggestion box located in the gift shop that is checked only by the CEO. A list of the volunteer committee members can be found on the important info page of the bigcatrescue.me site. Intern Contact Info Intern Manager Chelsea Feeney 813-323-5991 Email chelsea.feeney at bigcatrescue.org Operations Managers Gail Ingham 813-850-7052 Email gail.ingham at bigcatrescue.org Honey Waiton 813-323-7951 Email honey.waiton at bigcatrescue.org Intern Policies and Code of Conduct Animal Care No animal abuse of any kind will be tolerated, including teasing, and is grounds for immediate dismissal. No food or toys shall be offered to any animal without approval from the coordinator, CEO, or president. No animal shall ever be removed from its cage or enclosure without the express consent of the CEO or president. Safety. At no time, under any circumstances, will any part of your person come into direct contact with any animal at Big Cat Rescue. A radio must be carried on your person and turned on at all times while on the property. Each intern is responsible for keeping his or her radio in good working order. Radio transmissions should be kept to a minimum. No person shall run or horseplay on the property. An emergency contact is listed for each volunteer and intern on the class completion chart. Preferably, cell phones are to be left in the intern's housings or volunteer sign-in. However, if the intern is expecting an urgent call and must carry a cell phone, absolutely no calls will be answered while on the animal side of the barricades. Any person feeling under the weather should contact the coordinator to notify of an absence. Smoking is permitted in the designated smoking areas only. 
Absolutely no alcohol or drugs are allowed on the property at any time. No person shall enter the premises for eight hours after having consumed any alcoholic beverages or narcotics. Any person believed to be impaired due to alcohol or drugs will be removed from the property. Dress Code Interns must wear an intern shirt at all times while on the property. Intern tank tops are available, but are only to be worn when working on a project, not when working with guests. Interns are visible to guests at any time while on the property and must look presentable. Interns that are giving tours or assisting with events must wear a clean intern shirt. Intern shirts are to be worn by interns only. They are not to be given to friends or family, nor are they to be donated or sold to the general public. Closed toe shoes must be worn at all times while on the property. Excess jewelry or heavily scented products should not be worn. Long pants are recommended, but shorts will be tolerated if worn at a presentable length. Any clothing, including intern shirts, must be in presentable, unaltered condition. Interns may get wet or dirty while working and may want to bring an extra set of clothes. Intern sweatshirts are available. Any other sweatshirts, sweaters, or jackets must be worn underneath the intern shirt. Rain gear must be the appropriate color for the intern level. Rain boots are encouraged during the rainy season. Intern sign in. Before your intern shift begins, the important updates section on the BigCatRescue.me site must be checked for important information such as rule changes, cat information, scheduled events, etc. Interns must also verbally check in and out with the coordinator in order to receive work assignments and so the coordinator can keep track of the intern's progress. Hours must be logged on the computer time system daily. These time records will be monitored frequently to assure maintenance of intern responsibilities. The intern must initial next to daily chores that are completed and check the posted schedule to receive information on cleaning and feeding routes, days off, and other duties. Hour. An account is set up for each volunteer and intern to log his or her volunteer time. Intern time should be logged at the end of each workday. The volunteer committee pulls time reports each month. Please be sure to keep this record up to date. BigCatRescue.me Big Cat Rescue has an extensive website resource dedicated towards keeping the volunteers, interns, and staff informed of all policies, updates, contact information, and day-to-day -day operations of the sanctuary. Each intern is assigned a first.last name at bigcatrescue.org email address and is required to log into the site regularly to check their email as well as to read the important updates. Access to the property. Interns will not operate the gates nor allow access to the property to anyone without proper training. If you do not recognize someone on the property as a volunteer or staff member, politely ask if you can help them out. Explain that they must be escorted by a volunteer or staff member. Lead them to the guest sign in and alert a coordinator, staff, or committee member. No person shall enter the property without having completed a release and hold harmless agreement. If you have been entrusted with the gate code or keys, do not share these with anyone. Interns have the responsibility of making sure the gate is completely shut behind them as they enter and exit the property. Off-site intern parking is located beside the admin office. On-site intern parking is located next to the intern housing or in the Lion's Lair property. Easy Street is a privately owned road, not by Big Cat Rescue, and the people that live on this road are not affiliated with Big Cat Rescue. It is very important that we respect these people and drive slowly as well as yield to oncoming traffic. Monthly Volunteer Newsletter 
A volunteer newsletter is published by the Volunteer Committee monthly, usually the third Tuesday of the month, and posted on the BigCatRescue.me site. The newsletters are located under the heading Volunteer and subheading Newsletter on the left sidebar of the BigCatRescue.me site, as well as posted in the important updates. The volunteer newsletter includes safety reminders, requests, announcements, financial updates, and other important information that every volunteer should be aware of. It is mandatory that all volunteers read these newsletters and check the box available at the bottom of the newsletter indicating that the newsletter has been read. Volunteer Appreciation Parties Volunteer Appreciation Parties are held quarterly. Invitations are posted in the important updates as well as emailed to all volunteers. These parties are a social gathering of volunteers to enjoy food, drinks, guest speakers, special announcements, and to celebrate awards and promotions. Volunteers must RSVP, attending or not attending, to invites so that the volunteer committee can be sure to have enough food and drinks for everyone that attends. Personal Tours all personal tours must be pre-approved by the operations manager and be led by a certified tour guide. The intern may give their guests complimentary passes that they have acquired through their participation in the intern program, or they may use their 10% discount on admission. Age restrictions apply to all guests on personal tours. Special Requests An intern may request a group of days off together in writing to the operations manager. This request should be submitted well in advance to the requested dates to ensure that scheduling can be worked out. The operations manager will evaluate these requests on a case-by-case -case basis. Social networking and BCR email address policies. As a volunteer, posts or communications regarding animal issues using social networking sites such as Facebook, Twitter, and MySpace should represent Big Cat Rescue's mission accurately and positively. Photos and comments encouraging the physical interaction between humans and wild animals are discouraged as this is counterproductive to the mission of Big Cat Rescue. Emails that a volunteer sends from their Big Cat Rescue email address should only reflect the mission of Big Cat Rescue and should be courteous and professional in content. Grounds Maintenance All interns are responsible for proper disposal of his or her trash, as well as that of guests or other volunteers. Recycle containers are provided for drink containers and cardboard. When an intern completes a project, they must clean and put away all tools and excess materials and debris. Code of Conduct Rumor control is everyone's responsibility. The spreading of inappropriate information to fellow volunteers or to the public will not be tolerated. This includes negatively questioning the judgments or actions of the senior volunteers, volunteer committee, staff, or veterinarian care to or in front of volunteers or the public. Any issues, concerns, or grievances with staff or volunteers at any level should be addressed in writing to the volunteer committee if the issue cannot first be resolved directly with the other party. Every effort will be made to achieve resolution. The party deemed at fault for the grievance will be required to apologize and make every attempt to resolve the conflict with the offended party. While a volunteer is on the property or at an event or outreach, they are representing Big Cat Rescue. Please dress appropriately and refrain from using offensive language or behavior. When you send an email from your Big Cat Rescue email address, you are representing us. Please be sure that you represent Big Cat Rescue's philosophy accurately and positively. This also includes postings on social networking sites such as Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, etc. While we cannot control what current and former staff and volunteers post to their social networking sites, we would like to reiterate 
that we would appreciate your attention to the messages that your photos and comments on these sites sends about Big Cat Rescue, and especially about the animals that we represent. If you drive your vehicle with Big Cat Rescue signs, bumper stickers, license plates, etc., you are an ambassador for the sanctuary, and we ask that you drive and act in a responsible manner. If you do not know the answer to a question asked of you, please do not make one up. Tell the person that you will find out for them and then do so. Bad information is worse than none at all, and each volunteer's words are a reflection of Big Cat Rescue's mission. Code of Honor I will focus on what is best to achieve our mission for caring for the cats and ending the trade. I will speak my truth to the best of my ability and listen attentively as others speak theirs, with an end goal in finding a solution that will work for all. I will support my fellow rescuers early, often, and unconditionally. I will be truthful and responsible for my actions, accepting my role with grace and performing to the best of my ability. I will deal with complete transparency and work proactively to resolve any conflicts directly with those involved. I will be sensitive to their feelings and in no way belittle or challenge them in front of others. If no resolution is achieved, I will ask that all involved parties meet together with the persons who can settle the matter. If it's not my story, I won't tell it! I will celebrate the good my fellow rescuers do and show respect by saying please, thank you, and job well done. It is my responsibility to uphold the code and address breaches of the code with my fellow rescuers privately directly and respectfully. I will be mindful of my tone, body language, and the fact that we are all on the same path, albeit at different stages, so I will be open and gentle when asked for clarification. I will trust that my fellow rescuers share my same good intentions and I will give the benefit of the doubt or seek their input in a kind and courteous way. Infractions The volunteer program policies and code of conduct and code of honor apply to all volunteers, interns, staff and guests where applicable while on the property. Each person is responsible to abide by and enforce these policies and codes. Any infraction of the policies or codes should be immediately brought to the violator's attention as well as to the coordinator and the volunteer committee. The volunteer committee will decide the appropriate action or disciplinary measure, demotion, dismissal, etc. Any infraction of these policies or code of conduct may result in an incident report, which will become a permanent record in the violator's file. Demotions. Any volunteer who does not meet the requirements for their level will be reduced to the level for which requirements are being met. The volunteer committee reserves the right to query volunteers, either in writing or in person, in order to establish whether or not requirements are or are not being met before making their determination. Dismissals and denials. The volunteer committee retains the right to permanently excuse anyone from the program or from the property if their conduct is deemed unbecoming for a volunteer representing Big Cat Rescue. The volunteer committee may also deny any individual from joining the volunteer program.